I love the fact that the Trudy Farm is such a beautiful place and um, enjoy the animals and um, enjoy just uh, just being here. No two days are ever the same and that's, um, that's a really lovely thing. We're one of the first people in the UK to make charcuterie. There's sort of over 60 products that we have. We try and make sure that there's no two products that are the same, to be distinct and, and unique. And we kind of know in our heads what we're looking for. We're looking for them not to overlap with our other products. We supply a lot of restaurants um, all across the UK. The Michelin star restaurant locally that sources our charcuterie is the White Brook at the moment. It's about um, six or seven miles away from Trudy Farm. We really made a point that I've always wanted to put the best producers in the area on the plate and putting the valley on the plate. I like the Trudy Farm ham that we use on the dish. You're looking for vitality, you're looking for freshness. The region's got so much, whether it's the meat, the vegetables or the charcuterie, it's all there. It's great to promote an absolute amazing product. Well, Monmouth is a pretty unique county. It's got different levels of fantastic food traditions. It's still got a lot of small family farms and that is one of the things that really sets it apart now in the UK. Around us here in Monmouthshire, there were loads of really passionate small producers of pigs, exactly the sort of pigs that we wanted. So what we did was we started to sort of form like a loose kind of producer group um, of people who would supply their pigs into us. We went to the 2004 Abercrombie Food Festival with obviously a very, very little, little stand that we shared and was actually pivotal to us and our business. It is literally the biggest food festival in the UK in terms of it has the largest attendance. It has a fantastic range of food producers. It's a really important part of the food scene in Wales. Mm -hmm.